My wife makes the best waffles. That's one thing that I, I told her. I was like, you know, I consider myself to be a, an okay cook. I mean, I've been making food for like 30 years that I enjoy. But I'm like, I can't replicate the waffles that my wife makes. She makes the best waffles. So uh, let me show you the damage. There's Jay. <laughs> okay.
make noodles too, okay? What? You eat the noodles all the time. No, bud. Not at all. It doesn't make you sick. Okay, I'll just make the bacon for you. I'm gonna. So when the bacon is ready, I'm gonna take some of the bacon out for you. Yep. I'm gonna take some of the bacon out. I love bacon too. Okay, so bacon's almost ready. I'll take some out for you, and then I'm gonna cook the noodles with those some uh, with some of the bacon as well. I got my hot water. And I don't have sake in this. I like to put a little hot water in there. No, sake's expensive, bro. But when I do have sake, I'd say I'll take sake first. Look, I'm just getting to keep it real here, okay? I'll take sake first. A good tequila. See, it always depends. What are you serving me? Like, you're like, what do you like? Well, it depends what level. Like, no, because, for example, like, if you have Jose Cuervo tequila, I don't want that. If you have um, Russian Standard vodka, I will take that. And I won't even question that. Russian Standard, give me that. Give me that. Whiskey, you got Crown Royal, give me that. Give me that. You know, it depends on... That's why if someone says, well, what do you like? Well, it depends what it is. You know? I'm not a fan of cheap anything, really. Mm. Take it back. There's a difference between cheap and low quality. I'm not a fan of low quality anything. Ooh, yeah, there you go. Almost there, bubs. Something about pork, you know, is that gentleman's name, uh, Sam Elliott? Pork's the other white meat. No, I can't do, I can't do a Sam Elliott. He gets really low. Sam Elliott gets really low in his voice. Pork. Pork. The other white meat. No, I can't do, I can't do it. I can't do it. All right. I gotta be patient. Patience. Patience. Patience, patience, patience. Shout out to, to Michelle, Michelle in uh, Gilmore Girls. Dude, I, that's why I love, Michelle reminds me of Andy the Frenchie. Like, no, I'm saying, <laughs> no, the idea, like, I love it. No, I love it. Gilmore Girls is one of the best shows ever. I'm sorry, I'll, you know, I love Friends, but I mean, Gilmore Girls is good. All right, bud. Like our bacon is almost up to operating temperature for edibility. Uh, human standards is what I'm saying. All right, and then I'll just uh, take some of that grease off the bottom there, but make sure this is hot enough temperature-wise. No, I think it needs it needs more here. We're gonna go hot. We're gonna go hot. I might add some water. That's just that's just who I am. Add some water in there. I'm gonna make sure it cooks. So the water kind of heat up here. All right, hold on, Bubski. Okay, we'll let that sit in there for a little bit. Once it's... 500 Batmans! 500 Batmans! We're making our, um, uh, our list for Christmas presents. Yes. I, I, um... I tasked my son with purchasing me a Christmas present. I said, look, buy yourself a nice toy. I said this in front of my wife. Because I don't make any money. <laughs> no, I'm a stay-at-home dad. So. Connor 
So look, Dominic, buy yourself something nice. Pick out something nice. You know, mommy's gonna make sure mommy gets you what you want. You know, if you want to get a secondary toy, you get a Batman toy and and say it's for me, and I'll be happy. With it. No, isn't that what I told you? I said, look, I love I Batman toys. See, I just want to see Batman. No, I'm saying I'm asking you if you could buy a, a Batman toy no. for Christmas for you, and then I'll play with it, and then you tell me it's for me. No, then then you know we're all happy. No, it's for the Phoebe daughters. No, I told I didn't give you a price range. I said whatever you want. A huge Batman robot. I, that's true. You do want a huge Batman robot. Maybe but I should have sold Mama. Maybe a layer. I maybe have a layer. Okay. I don't have dinosaurs and Batman and Paw Patrol, right? And Paw Patrol, yes. And dinosaurs too. Yes. Dinos. Dinolicious dinos. No! What? Dino, dinosaurs aren't delicious. How do you know they're not delicious? Oh, fine. Well, I didn't know. Look, I'm saying if, if we were alive in prehistoric times, would no, you taste dinosaurs. dinosaur with me? No, it's a toy store. <laughs> a toy store dinosaur lives a dinosaur toy lives in a, in a toy store. Silly dad. <laughs> Silly dad. You know I love going to the toy store with you. Dad, you know, if I make a lot of money... Dad, look, he's so happy. You know, one day I might make money. Stop! And, uh, we're going to buy all the Legos, bro. All of the Legos. Stop! Yes. No! It's hard to feed me daughters. We're buying all the Legos. No! All no, of them. No! Okay, no. fine, fine. Stop. No hitting. We, talk, we discussed this already. You do have me. Okay, bud. I see. I'm trying to make food, okay? Sorry. Oh, that's okay. I'm making the bacon. I appreciate the conversation. All right, I think your bacon is close to ready. Let's let this boil for a little bit longer. Maybe I'll add some more water. Let's just add a little bit more water. Then I can be ready for my noodles. Okay, to anyone who says that, I don't know how to tattoo you right, okay? This is the, this is my first tattoo that I did myself, right there. And I'm practicing on my other arm, you know, it's, it's a learning process. I realized, like, I said to myself, I'm like, well, as long as I put the ink in the right place, you know, I, I'd rather learn on myself than, um, you know, give someone else a shitty tattoo is really what it comes down to. So, uh, I'm okay with just designating a certain area on my body and saying, you know what, I'm going to experiment here. I'm going to learn. I'm going to give myself an opportunity to make mistakes. And, uh, you know, um, that's the other thing, too, is tattoos need to be touched up every few years anyway. So, you know, if I just pick a spot and I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to learn here on the spot. And it'll be like this, uh, almost like a, a doodle board, if you will. So my doodle board is my, my right arm. Just messing around. No, but I actually, I've been talking with my wife and I want to do like a, <coughs> kind of like an inverted mural, I guess. So the hard black will be, so it will kind of look like, I don't know, it's going to look cool because I've been experimenting with the, uh, the temporary tattoos too. I think that's what I would have done in the beginning <laughs> is uh, just, uh, well, you know what's funny is I wanted, this is, I'm just having a conversation with you as I'm making my bacon. I'm gonna take that, take that however you want to, okay? No, I just like to be silly. I, I realize that, uh, you know, life brings about a lot of different phases and, and changes, and I think if, if you're able to roll with the punches, I think it's good. I really do. That's not to say there aren't difficult times. What I like to say is, you know, when the times are good, I like to save money. So that way, when the times are bad, you know, I have those resources available to me to uh, bridge the gap. And uh, the other thing, too, is, you know, when I'm at my lowest points, I say to myself, you know what? This can't last forever because the good times didn't last forever either. So, um, 
everything can be taken however you want to take it. You know? um, my goal is just to treat people the way that I want to be treated. You know, if I see someone doing something cruel to me, I'm like, well, that person obviously that's how they want to be treated, but I'm not going to do it because I don't want to be treated that way. So. I think there is a point where you get to where you have to kind of move on. If, if no, I'm just saying hypothetically, if someone's treating you treating you in a way that um, you know you don't appreciate, and there's no real recourse recourse, excuse me, because you don't want to stoop to their level, it, it's kind of like you have to you just have to move on. You just have to move on. No, and, and that could be just in your mind too, with an idea. Like I'm saying, I've had ideas that I just had to let go. You just have to let go. All right, this is looking absolutely delicious. Dom's will be ready soon, and then I'm gonna add some noodles. Actually, I'll, I'll do a little bit more water for the noodles here. So let me get the water amount uh, up to my liking here. Yes, little buddy. Oh, I spilled a little water there. Okay. Now let's turn it up. Now let's go up to high. I get a little bit more water, actually. Okay, that's good. Let's let it get hot. We'll let it get hot, Jay. Let it get hot and her. Hot and her. Golden pineapple. Now, what if, you know, I realized I am an asshole. Because I'm like, I say everyone's name wrong. But, I mean, most of the time it's, I can't even say my own name right. So, I'm going to figure out one day how to say my own name. But look, if I want to call you Joy, because that's what you represent to me. That's what I'm going to do, okay? I understand it's Maria with an F. <laughs> All right, let's see where we're at, Jay. All right, this is coming along absolutely amazing. Thank you for, thank you for joining me on this journey of making some, some, some bacon noodle wok experiment, which I love to do. I love to cook every day. I do. The smell of food. You know, food is really. It's not just this one. I don't think people understand. Yes, it's true that you should be eating ingesting high, the highest quality food so that way your body can absorb the best nutrients it possibly can so you can feel the best i agree yes but at the same time it's like it's a whole experience like the smell the whole process that's why like i would love to be if i was making food i i would do like i would just make like 20 30 course meals because you know you, you kind of trim away the excess and then that that goes you know, and then you're left, usually when you're making something really good, you're left with like a little bit. That's like the best. No, and then you could put everything out like as a, I would just have like a tasting table. And as I make the food, I would just move everything to the tasting table. And then like if you, like you, if you live with me or you, you hang out, you're just like, okay, let me try it. Like, what's he going to make next? No, I would love to do it. Okay, I'm, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. Sorry. I have to stop. Okay, this is ready, bud. I think it's ready for you too. All right, so we got this boiling. Let's come down to uh, let's come down a little. Okay, I'm gonna add the noodles. Jay's upset. Let me show you Dominic's bacon here. Let me just show them Dominic's bacon, then I'll get you cleaned up. I'll stop the video. Okay, let's get the strainer. Let's give you a close up of the bacon before we before we end this video. 
But we get you out of your chair. We get you cleaned up. We gotta change you. We gotta get you changed, little man. All right, so I turn it low. Here, let me give you a close-up shot of... Let me try it. Let me try it, Jay. Oh, that is good. Let me run it. No, let it. Let's keep it on 50 for a little bit more. I like it to be softer. I really do. I'll let it. I'll let it sit for a little bit. Then when it's up to my standard. No, what I like. I mean, I just like to make what I like. That's. Is that wrong? I don't know. Maybe it is. Okay, bud. Okay. Thank you. We love you. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.